I gave birth to my daughter back in January of 22 and then about three months later I just started noticing that my head was starting to turn um, to the right. Probably other people didn't really notice it, but I noticed it. Um, just felt like I couldn't hold my head straight. Yeah, I can function like a normal person, which is really nice. <laughs> Someone's telling you that there's no options. Advocate for yourself and look for other options <laughs> because there's always something you can explore. While I was having a lot of neck pain, my head was locked to the side and tilted, migraines all the time, searing pain up the back of my head. I couldn't look straight ahead. I was tired all the time. Yeah, uh, and I just came hoping that maybe there could be something here that would help. I had seen some testimonials online and just saw some other people that looked similar to me. So I thought, why not try and see if it could be anything that might help? Yes, I had done Botox. Um, I had seen an orthopedic doctor, neurologist, um, I'd had MRIs done, x-rays, all of that, nothing was helping. Nursing, yes, uh, BSN, RN. Um, like 95% from the start of this. Yeah, just the pain level difference is incredible. I can go about my normal day. Um, I still have a little bit of tightness, but nothing that you know a little massaging doesn't help and yeah just i was having like my scalp was on fire and um i couldn't move my head just even anyone touching my head or my neck and all of that was just so painful and i mean i was like in agony every day it was really it was awful and I, I don't know. I just, when I look in the mirror, I feel like just looking at me speaks for itself the difference that my neck is compared to where it started. The headaches. Um, that's like 99%. Um, if, I, if I get a headache, it's like a one-off thing and it's usually because I haven't drank enough water that day or, you know, something like that. So it's, yeah, I was having migraines all the time. I'm, I haven't had any of those issues, so... I just thinking we're, we have a family vacation coming up this weekend. We're going to Branson and the last two times that we did that. Um, I mean, I, I couldn't hardly do anything. You know, I just, I've been exercising again. I can lift weights. I can go on runs. I can play with my kids. I, you know, I can help on the farm. I can drive myself through traffic and feel confident to look around and see, you know, if there's vehicles coming, it, it does, it just gives you like, or it has given me a boost of my independence back and that confidence to take my kids out by myself to go grocery shopping and, you know, things like that. Things that people do normally on an everyday basis, things you enjoy, just being able to live your life especially in your 20s with two little kids, you know, you want to be involved with them and not just lay on the couch all day because you're in pain. So yeah, I usually would not want to go anywhere if Colton couldn't go with me because it was, it driving itself was a, a big like trigger for the pain even more. I think just the positioning of having to sit and trying to look at the road, like I, I couldn't do that. So, um, I really didn't want to go anywhere if Colton couldn't go with me. So even simple things like going grocery shopping, we had to turn that into like full family outings because, um, yeah, to have a driver and someone to help me get things and get loaded up and all of that. So I was waking up very tired and just continuing to be exhausted throughout the day. And by time it was time to get dinner ready, I was just done for the day. It was I was exhausted all the time and now I mean my I have a baby a seven month old now that you know she still wakes up in the night but um I get through my day i productive I get things done I'm not taking naps I'm um you know I can last until the kids go to bed and get everything you know situated in the house and have time for myself and Colton at the end of the day and you know I'm not feeling like oh, I'm going to fall over and pass out in bed at six o'clock at night. <laughs> you know, I can make it until normal bedtime. So 
Um, that's improved quite a bit. I'd say 99% or so. I don't really have any. Um, my, I feel like my posture has definitely improved. My shoulders are more level and they're not, I'm not so twisted because I was very <laughs> twisted before. Um, yeah, like I said, I feel like I have strength and my ability to perform activities back. And so I can, yeah, I can function like a normal person, which is really nice. <laughs> I would say if you, well, first off, if someone's telling you that there's no options, advocate for yourself and look for other options <laughs> because there's always something you can explore. Um, and I would say if you, if this speaks to you at all, like you feel like you're in the same situation, um, there's no harm in looking into something like this. Um, because if it helps when you're in that position and you're just feeling desperate for anything to work, you'll try anything. And if something helps even 5%, that's 5% more than you were yesterday. And if 5% every day adds up over time. So I would just say advocate for yourself, find something that helps you in your situation and what works for you. And this is what worked for me. So 